Hi loves, welcome back to Clark Star Culinary. We are making a steakhouse butter today. And we're gonna get started with eight ounces of unsalted butter here. So we're just gonna go ahead and open this up. And this is room temperature butter, so do make sure that your butter is soft and room temperature. And we're just gonna put that over into a mixing bowl. And this recipe is really good for your prime rib coming up this holiday season. So we're gonna get to chopping some of these herbs that I have here. I've got one tablespoon of parsley, one tablespoon of cilantro, one teaspoon of oregano, and one teaspoon of chives. And I'm sure you've all noticed this knife that I use. It's a mezzaluna knife. It's perfect for chopping up and mincing. I will have a link in the description box down below. It's available on Amazon.com. And as you can see, it works really, really well with those herbs chopped up really quickly. That looks really good. So we're gonna get this over into our bowl with the butter. The next thing we're gonna do is mince two cloves of garlic. This makes life a lot easier when you're mincing garlic. Just press it down and it comes out perfect. Just cut that off there and get the other one. And now we're just left with our finishing touches, which I'm gonna add a half a teaspoon of fresh cracked black pepper, a half a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, and one teaspoon of anchovy sauce. And now we're just gonna mix this in to the butter. Well, I guess kind of press it into the butter rather, but we wanna make sure we do it really, really well to make sure all the seasonings, all the herbs are distributed thoroughly through the butter. It smells so good. So good, this is perfect. And now we need to get this over into some plastic cling wrap. What we're gonna do is just spread out some of this cling wrap here. Right there. This is actually a store brand plastic cling wrap and it's really durable. If you're familiar with the Lidl brand, Lidl store, I love that store, oh my gosh. They have the best, the best store brand. We're gonna take our butter and put that right down the middle of this plastic. And this is just so we can put it in the refrigerator and get it to get solid again. So you can just slice off of it what you need. And what we're gonna do is bring the sides up. just gonna pinch them right here in the middle and fold it over and I am gonna kind of round it out and thin it out just a little bit there. There. and now at the end I'm just gonna give it a little pinch and we're just gonna give that a twist and roll it just a little bit so it's nice and round. And now I'm gonna take this and put it in the refrigerator and we will check back on it when it is solid and we have a steak. All right, we're back with the steakhouse butter and it's been in the refrigerator for probably about an hour or so. So it's definitely solid. I'm gonna take it out of the plastic wrap, holding its shape really well. Okay, and let's just cut a piece off. I'm just gonna show you what that looks like here. It's really good, all those herbs. And you can even see the little pieces of garlic in there. That is going to be so good on a steak, which I'm gonna try that 
right now. Let's put some of the steakhouse butter on the steak and I'm just going to smooth that in. Let that melt down just a little bit. Let's taste that. Mm. Mm -hmm. The combination of the two are very complimentary. This butter would go so well with a nice hot piece of fresh baked bread. So that is definitely something that I'm going to be getting within a day or two is some fresh baked bread because this is gonna last us for a while here. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please be sure to hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already and be sure to hit the notification icon so that you can be notified of our next video upload. Until next time, bye-bye.